Hey guys, welcome back to another video from uh, sysadmin102. As promised in the last video, uh, I will show you how to upgrade the memory and uh, the memory options. Hopefully uh, it will work. This is my uh, first time actually uh, trying out the memory. So uh, right here I have um, two memory, uh, one that's 16 gigabyte, and uh, the other one is uh, 32 gigabyte, both uh, made by uh, Micron. Uh, one is made in uh, Malaysia and the other one is made in uh, China. And they both is um, VLP or very uh, low profile. Uh, so hopefully um, it's gonna boot up. So I'm gonna disassemble the DEC740 and then uh, we're gonna try out a 16 gigabyte and a 32 gigabyte. Uh, just keep in mind that 4 gigabyte uh, I don't think it would be enough. So if you don't want to void your warranty, uh, because they have a warranty sticker here, uh, you might want to go with the 750, which is uh, eight gigabyte. So in order to open the box, you're gonna remove uh, four screw on the bottom. And again, keep in mind that uh, you will um, possibly uh, void your warranty if you do so. Alright, and to prop it open, what you're gonna do is you can use the um, removal tool. You gotta flip the push between the core, um, the gap right here, and there we go. It come right off. And unfortunately, it's no easy way if you want to upgrade a memory. Unfortunately, you have to open remove the um, hissing and the uh, modern board. Alright, I'm gonna leave it dry up. Okay. Alright. And right here we have the old memory card, 4 gigabyte. So right now I'm gonna try the 16 gigabyte first. Alright. So this is a 16 gigabyte VLP uh, memory card. Let me see what the... Um, and it's a DDR4-3200. Uh, All right, let me remove the old one. All right, and let reassemble it and then uh, connect it uh, using the uh, console terminal. We'll see if uh, it boot up. All right, now I have it uh, connected to the serial console. I'll let boot it up and see what happened. All right, it actually booting up. It's good news. And as you see the memory, it actually uh, it shows 16 gigabyte now. So we can confirm that this uh, memory actually work with uh, the uh, DC 700 series. All right, now I'm gonna shut it down and we're gonna test it out the uh, 32 gigabyte. 
All right, and next we're gonna try out a 32 gigabyte. Again, this is a DDR4 3200 as well, and they bought a ECC memory. And let's put it in and uh, we'll see if it uh, boot up. And since this is for testing, I'm just gonna put the hissing back on instead of uh, re reassemble the whole thing. Just so I can shred the heat and uh, we're able to boot it up. All right. All right, so now that I have the 32 gigabyte plug into the system, uh, let power is on and see if it uh, boot up. And look like the 32 gigabyte model is not booting. Uh, in my opinion, eight gigabyte is more than enough for most user. 16 gigabyte would enable to run a lot of uh, different services such as uh, OpenVPN, uh, wire gore or um, IDS, IPS, uh, snore filtering, uh, suricata. Uh, with that being said, uh, if you test it out and uh, you know different uh, model or different manufacturer that work with this box, make sure to uh, leave it in the comments so it will be helpful for all the users. It's all about the community support. And if you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.